Hey there, fellow agate lovers. Check this out. Look at this beautiful slab of saginitic agate that I have here. Wow, I made this myself from a rock that I found out in West Texas at the Coconut 06 Ranch near Alpine. That's where all the cool rocks are. This one is just ready to be turned into a cabochon. I could almost freeform something. It's a little large, but it's just amazing. You can see the translucency and you can see all of those little sprays in there going every which way. I am hopeful that this makes a super nice cabochon. Appears to be one fracture right there. I need to well, be careful of that. Otherwise though, I believe it's in really good shape. So let me go ahead and draw a shape on it and we'll go from there. Well, what do you think of that? It's your basic, uh, kind of a triangular shape there. I have it offset because I'm trying to avoid, well, that. I might have completely avoided it, but even if I didn't, it shouldn't be a problem if I'm making this the top. Wow, this should be really nice. You see how we're capturing all of that uh, stringiness in there? Now, those little tiny pits you see are actually the tubes coming through, so there's nothing you can do about that. That will be in the final product, but it shouldn't be a problem. This thing will still take a brilliant polish. Well, at least that's been my experience. Let's find out. What I'm going to do next is get this back in the shop, get on the high-speed trim saw and trim away as much as I can. Get as close to the line as I dare get. After that, I'll move over to the cabbing machine where I will fine tune this shape on the coarse grit wheel. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll go ahead and get it on a dop stick. And after that, we will meet again over at the cabbing machine. We begin as always on the 80 grit wheel, you know, for the basic shaping. This is where I form the dome, and here's how it looks dry. This took many minutes, but I'm happy with the way it looks. Now we move over to the 220 grit wheel and start to clean up those scratches. Okay, now it's starting to look decent. Let's keep going. The next wheel is the 280 grit soft wheel where I push in hard. Check it out, you can start to see a slight reflection. That's a good sign. Up next, the 600 grit wheel. What's this gonna do for our shine? Ooh, looking good after 600 grit. And the pattern, I like it. Let's keep going. The next wheel is the 1200 grit wheel. This should really make it shine. Check it out. Remember, I always show these dry. That's a good shine for 1200 grit. We have one more wheel to go. That's the 3000 grit. And now, ooh, sweet. Okay, love the pattern, right? And the shine looks really good. Great reflection and good shape too. Let's see if we can do any better with that shine. Let's get on the cerium belt on the wet belt sander. Spend a few minutes here and the final polish. Check it out. Ooh. It almost glows in the light. Very nice. It's such a cool pattern. Very happy with the way this one's turned out. I'll tell you what, let's take this back inside now and we'll take a closer look at it. Our West Texas Saginitic Agate cabochon is finished check it out what do you think let's take a look at this beauty wow oh i just love the details within this saginitic agate those little sprays to me those are just super cool very nice to look at yeah, I think this is a beautiful cab. Now, I noticed while I was cutting this, I could see what appeared to be the face of a bird in there. Do you see that little eyeball in there? Oh, maybe it was my imagination, but I could have sworn I was seeing like a, an eagle or something right in there. Hopefully you can see it as well. If not, that's okay. You maybe see something even more interesting. There's certainly a lot to look at. The shape... I like this shape. It was a little more challenging to make this. It took more time on that coarse grit wheel than I normally take, but it was well worth it. 
This is how we started. Remember those days? Still interesting, right? And this is what it looks like after those seven different grits. Very shiny stuff. And very pretty in my opinion. And I hope you agree. Wow, I just can't stop looking at this thing. It's that interesting. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And if you liked it, please check my playlist. I've got lots more of these slab to cab videos for you to enjoy. Once again, thanks for watching.